everybody, this is George from 3N Guitars, and I am here with my friend John Eastman, who has graciously uh, come down to do a demo for a couple of the guitars that I've done recently. And uh, John's been playing for a long time and is a fantastic player, and I'm just really thankful for, for him to be here. And uh, what he's playing here is the porch rocker version of, the, of uh, uh, my guitars. Um, it's based off, based loosely around Tele design. Uh, if you notice the body, it kind of leans forward. Got a little bit more of a hip here on the front. Uh, now this is a carved top. You can see the, the carving here uh, gives you a little bit more of a, a nice armrest. Now this, this is a, believe it or not, this is a seven piece body. Um, so we're gonna go through, the back is a three piece. This is black walnut with uh, red oak in the center. I got a uh, Sipili mahogany uh, cover plate for the, uh, uh, for the electronics. And the front is uh, five pieces. Um, this is ambrosia maple and then Sapili Mahogany, and then Rock Maple in the middle, and they're all joined, and it's, uh, it's just, a, uh, just a beautiful set of tone woods, really hard, and got a little weight behind it. Um, <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful guitar. Now the neck is a uh, three-piece, Sapili Mahogany and Maple, um, you see on the back, and uh, got some Goto tuners, and the fretboard is Wenge, uh, with abalone inlays, uh, and. Uh, uh, medium gauge nickel stainless frets. Um, so the electronics here. This is uh, two. This is a set of Warman hum, uh, humbuckers. Warman is a, uh, a company out of the UK. Really wonderful company. Great set of pickups at really good prices. So if you're looking at a new set of pickups, you should try these guys out. Um, both humbuckers are coil tapped. So the the uh, neck pickup is coil tapped on the volume knob, and the um, bridge pickup is coil tapped on the tone knob. And we've got a three-way switch here in the middle, and of course, two pneumatic setup for the for the uh, bridge. So uh, John's going to walk through some sounds here, and then he's just going to give this thing a workout. And we're going to see what happens. So I like the uh, placement of the volume knob on this one, especially because mm -hmm. a lot of Telecaster style, it's pushed back more to even kind of yep. it's a little challenging to reach. So the neck pickup, just full humbucker, kind of sounds like this. It's got a nice fat. <laughs> there, definitely. But the thing I love is it still has enough crystalline high yeah. end, you don't, it doesn't mud out, so you can yep. totally do those big... And you can hear every note, you can hear that... Get in that mud zone where it's like oh, oh, oh. It sounds yeah. like the tone knob is <laughs> yep. rolled off before anything yep. happens. So that is the neck pickup straight, so you get that nice. You can pop this up and split it, so you get that nice. You can instantly hear how it like, kind of thins out and really gets, but without yep. getting weak, it doesn't yep. get anemic. So that's so you can still kind of do your like the bridge pickup on a cello. Exactly. Yep. Get that nice thin, and then you can pop it and be right back in the yep. big, the big rhythm zone. So, yep. so I love this for worship leading because I can split it and get those nice thin. Where I don't want to yep. intrude with anything, but at the same time, when we go to the bigger, you know, choruses and stuff, where yep. I need that. there at my fingertips and that's yep. one position that's yep. one selector position that's not even yeah. I could sit there all day and just be fine you know and have no problems yeah. so it's got a lot of space yeah so the uh, that's the neck position and then the two together full humbucker you get a nice position for just kind of personally I love it for like the arch top stuff so whenever I want to do arch top yep. I put the two roll the tone down instantly yep. so you can do that nice warm thing still yep. has some clarity nice jazzy feel nice jazzy feel and the awesome thing about coil tapping them individually is you can then split just the neck or just the bridge or both so Let's listen to just the two together, you know, on their 
full humbucker. Then neck pickup split, full bridge. So that's a totally different tone. Then we'll split the bridge, but leave the neck full. Slightly different again. Then both split. So you can get all these myriad of tones yep. right out of just one position. So that's yep. really fun. I almost simulate that to like when you have the Les Paul with the two volumes. Yes. So you can kind of control yep. what's going yep. on in the middle. You know, so many guys just set it in the middle and then just yep. blend. Joe Bonamassa is big for that. He'll, yep. He says he runs 75% neck pickup, 25% yep. bridge. Yep. And I love that because on soloing, I can decide what tone I want just by yep. popping it. So if I want a brighter tone, I'm going to lose the neck. Yep. Yep. If I want a thicker one, I'm going to pop that. Yep. And it totally changes it. Yep. So Now, what scale length is this? This is a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length. So it's, uh, it's, it's kind of like the, the telly body with a Gibson neck. Cool. Uh, Very cool. <laughs> you know, uh, and at the same time, because of the shorter scale length on the guitar, this body is only 11 and a half inches wide. Okay. So it's uh, the standard telly is again is 13 inches wide. 13 inches. So we dropped it. Uh, we made it narrow so that it, it just fit the neck. Yeah. Um, I mean, could you imagine that? You know, almost two inches wider. Right. With the same scale cell neck. I mean, it would look. It would look. Yeah. It just looks out of place. You know, it <laughs> right. Doesn't, doesn't fit. And uh, and it would also be tremendously heavy. You know, yes. I mean, just adding that much weight to the body of that guitar right. would be enormous. Yeah. Um, so I like it uh, a little bit, a little bit more thinned out, a little easier to play, a little easier to hold. Yes, and I love the um, the neck shape on this. We were discussing this earlier between the two. Mm -hmm. This one has a little bit more shoulder, so anyone who's used to a Les Paul will exactly. immediately feel very at home. And it just has that nice for doing any kind of rhythm stuff. You're immediately right in that nice comfort yep. zone. Big stretches aren't a problem. And you can do the rhythm stuff and be very comfortable, yeah. but you're not choked on yep. lead at all. You know, you can still do your, you can yep. still do your nice little runs and yep. everything, and, and very cool. So uh, back to where I was when I started. The <laughs> got a little sidetracked. Yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah. The uh, the bridge pickup, full humbucker, has a nice, nice bitey tone. Which I actually like that as mm -hmm. in humbuckers because when you put drive, little Joe Walsh, little Joe Walsh, yeah, you never you never get that that yeah. weird yeah. like thinned out sound. But at the same time, it's not yeah. uh, undefined. I yeah. hate flicking to a bridge pickup and it doesn't like have any cut to it. Yeah. I, I like that. I like having a little. I love being able to do that. Yeah. Uh, and then when you split it, you get that nice so. Full humbucker, split, don't lose a ton of volume, but it just gives it that nice yep. spanky, strap telly sound. Strap yep. telly thing, definitely, so you get that. Yep. Almost reminds me a little bit of that. Uh, Sultan's a swing kind yep. of thing, just a little. Very cool. I love it. Let me see. Let me uh, let me throw something in the looper here. 